right now I'm driving to Clark International Airport number two. So I've been to the old Clark Terminal one, but never to Terminal two. So this is gonna be the first time I'm flying out of Terminal two. Can't wait to check this out. And I got some cheap flights on Cebu Pacific, really cheap actually. It was only around about three and a half thousand peso each way. So I'm flying to Bangkok, so I've got it for a 7,000 return, 7,000 peso return on Cebu Pacific, which I think is a reasonable, you know, airline provider. I'm happy with Cebu, you know, for 7,000 peso return, ain't bad. I did have to add the luggage. So after I add the luggage, it was like a thousand per trip. So return, I think all up, all in, included luggage, including that luggage I'm paying 9,000 peso return with luggage. The old Oriental duty free, so we've got to pass by that. Keep on going north and then we'll be at Clark Terminal 2. Just spotted this cool truck, that's dope. So yeah, it's a nice drive. It does take longer to drive to the airport. I wonder if there's going to be something on the expressway, like a proper turn off to the expressway, you know, from the expressway because it is a lot further. It's like you've got to drive in to Angeles Clark, drive all the way around to get to this airport, whereas it would make a lot more sense if there was an exit directly from the uh, highway coming onto the airport, because it is, it does feel like it's quite close to the, uh, the expressway here. Either way, it's a really nice drive and I am excited to see the new airport. So you can see here it's close to the SC Tex and there you go, turn right for Clark International. Here we go, turning right. I'm surprised someone's just stopped there, not the best place to stop. Clark, here we go. Wow, it does look big, look at this. Nice. So jump on those flight specials for Clark because they're going at the moment, especially I think for Philippine Airlines, Ava and Cebu Pacific. Got a bit of rain. And Jetstar also flies out of here. Jetstar flies out of here, Air Asia, Cebu, Scoot, a lot of the big ones. Even Emirates flies out of here now. So this is the gate. Clark International Airport, we're driving through. I think we turn left here. See the airport just there. It looks good. A little crazy though, because we drove all the way up here and then all the way back. I don't understand why there's not an access road towards the end here, which would just make things like so much more simple, but I guess it is what it is. Definitely need an extra 10 or 15 minutes just to get in because it is a long windy road and it'll take you at least an extra 15 minutes just to drive to the airport. And here we are. So I'm just driving up at the minute, up the departures section. And I'm going to be dropped off friends just dropping me off and then uh, I'm flying out. Is that right, friend? She's shy. Yep, my friend doesn't want to say hello. She's very shy. Not sure why she's so shy, but uh, she's a good friend. I'll say that much. And you can see just behind us these huge car parks. So lots of room for parking. Lots of parking bays here. You can see the old airport down there. You can see how sizable the new Clark Airport really is. It kind of does remind me of a mini Bangkok airport, so a mini Swanapum, Filipino style. It is nice. It is a nice airport, I must admit. It's the first time I'm flying out from Clark International Terminal 2. So let's head inside and check it out. Got my bags. Let's do it.
very surprised with this airport. It's gorgeous. Inside, it smells like wood. It smells like this amazing, beautiful cedar wood, and you can see all the wood up here. Lovely, lovely airport. It's like a mini Bangkok or Swanapum Airport here at Clark. All modern, very nice, very fresh, user friendly. And it's cheap to fly in and out of here. Why not use Clark? That's the question. Forget Manila, I'd much prefer to fly out of here. Anyway, like I came straight in here and my desk, my flight desk, check in is right there. So I'm at Cebu Pacific at sea. I'm gonna go check in and then go through immigration and hang out here at Clark International Airport. Loving it. First time. Woo. I've waited a long time for this. Yes, I'm fully vaccinated. Fully vaxxed. My luggage is ready to go. I've got my boarding pass. I'm about to jet. Before I do, I just want to point out this to everyone. So if you have a look here, before you go in, there are restaurants. So actually you can see this, it says restaurants and they're all upstairs like on this balcony area there's quite a few restaurants there i've already eaten something so i'm going to head into immigration i'm excited to check out the rest of the airport so yeah well worth visiting clark international airport forget manila last time i came through manila it took literally hours to get through this is a breeze like as you can see the lineup it's pretty good you know, there's not too many people. It's not too busy. The staff are really friendly. Actually, they tried to hit me up for uh, the extra baggage fee, but I argued with them. And look, even though this was 12 kilos, they let me bring this on as 12, which was great. Um, I did argue the fact that my main luggage was only 15, so they should give me the extra luggage. It was a pain, but uh, they did allow for it. So they were pretty friendly, quite happy overall. At the moment, it looks like mainly Cebu uh, Pacific flies out of here. There are other, you know, flight providers like AirAsia, FlyScoot, Emirates. There's a lot of providers flying out of Clark at the moment. So that's great. And I'm looking forward to many more. I've just literally walked through immigration and this is what it looks like. I'm on the other side. Awesome, we're doing this. So these should be shops in the future, not yet, but in the future. And then up ahead, there are some shops on the other side here. Let's have a look. Dark Circle Bros. Never heard of that before. <laughs> That's new, Dark Circle. So it looks like a lot of restaurants coming soon. Not that much in the way of shops. There's not really anything that I've seen. Oh wait, it looks like possibly a duty-free shop on the other side. Oh no, that's a bar, Bar Chino. Okay, there is one duty-free shop. Here we go. Just one at the moment. So that's it for the time being. And Bar Chino. Not cheap though. All I'm looking for is a Sam Mig light for like a hundred peso, 120 peso would be perfect. 
Not 200, thanks. Let's see, is anyone selling beer? Maybe this Barcino sells beer, I'm not sure. But then again, maybe not. Can't see money changer here. And a nice outlook, nice view. Loving the new airport. Awesome. And that's it pretty much. That's what's open so far here at Clark International Airport. All right, so that's about it. That's Clark International Airport. Well worth flying through here rather than flying through Manila. Comes highly recommended. It's really nice inside and it's not too busy. That's really important. And it does have a fair few good airlines like 
Cebu Pacific, Philippine Air, you've got Qatar, Emirates if you're going to Dubai, and a few Korean airlines as well. So thus far, that's what they've got. I'm looking forward to seeing a few more, like Singapore Airlines would be good. They do have Fly Scoot, which does go to Singapore, uh, which is more of a budget airport, but I have heard Singapore Airlines is coming and also Thai Airways is coming here to Clark International as well. So looking forward to those new premium airlines and for it to get a bit more competitive with prices. Like I said earlier in the video, I did get you know a pretty good price. What I felt was a fair price of 9,000 peso return, including luggage each way so return so yeah really good all right well this has been pete from the property club thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed clark international airport as much as i did double thumbs up and bye for now